I am wellness expert Ellen Barrett. Today we're gonna make homemade sunscreen. Five ingredients that you know, and it's cheap. You can make a big batch and it will last you all summer. So here are the five ingredients. Shea butter, coconut oil, beeswax, which will make it waterproof, almond oil, which gives it a really good smooth texture, and then zinc oxide, which we'll add at the very end. We start with a saucepan, fill it with water a little bit, and then turn it on a high heat. So we're gonna blend and melt all of the ingredients in a jar on a saucepan. I'm gonna add four of the five ingredients into this jar. The shea butter can be refined or unrefined. If you can't find almond oil, you can use olive oil. It does have a little bit of a fragrance though. That's why I really prefer the almond oil. You're leaving out the zinc oxide, so zinc oxide stays in its container for a little while. Then you put the jar right in the saucepan and you let it sit there for probably five minutes and it'll get nice and melted. It'll start to congeal. It'll look like a clear liquid. Turn off the heat and then remove the jar from the heat. This is really important. You don't want to add the zinc oxide until it's removed from the heat. And let it sit for two minutes just to let it cool down just a little bit and then we'll add the zinc oxide. Now that it's clear and it's cool just a little bit, now we can add the zinc oxide powder. Now the zinc oxide is really what gives it the sunscreen. Two tablespoons of zinc oxide has about 20 SPF. The coconut oil had about four SPF and the shea butter had a natural SPF of four as well. So 28 SPF all together. Now just stir it up and it'll look like white chalky milk. So now, while it's really liquidy, we're gonna pour it into the mold that we're gonna use. And you just pour it in. It looks just like sunscreen, doesn't it? You can use it probably in an hour or so. Now, this is what it looks like. This is a batch I made earlier. It looks just like this. It's waterproof, but keep reapplying it, especially if it's a really hot summer day. Wear your sunscreen. I'm Ellen Barrett, thanks for joining me. Who knew? Well, we've posted all the ingredients and instructions on our website, sportsedge.com. Check it out. We'll be right back.